Though Bob has got quite a story. Well, he is back. He's got a signature bow tie on. He's also has another wonderful project. This is in part of our great craft off we're having here. Fourth of July DIY themed craft. And um, Jeremy is here. Jeremy Rabe is here. And he's going to, uh, by the way, from my second home. Second home, Springfield, Springfield Missouri. Missouri. Send nothing but love back to my yes. back in Springfield. So this is what happened. And our judges are standing by, ready to ready judge. To judge. Ready ready to I judge. feel it. I can I feel them right now. Don't our judge. Final <laughs> is to remind everybody we're given some very simple rules, OK? They were giving a DIY theme, which was the 4th of July. Yes. We lined their pocket with 150 bucks. Yes. We gave you a day to go out and shop. And then we gave you eight hours to work on your project. The judges have to work with that information yep. and your final project of which you decide to make a? Yeah, well, let me just tell you this, Mark. I figured with this project, I would kill three birds with one stone. Oh! Wow! Wow! He just got a point <laughs> from me. <laughs> I thought so. Yeah. Come on, no. because this is the trifecta of bird houses, bird baths, bird feeders. Because I've repurposed clay pots to make a bird bath. And now once they get to the water, they're going to see the food up here. And they're going to be so happy, they're going to move into the house up here. Bam! Bird bath oh. bungalow. It you is could own boom. Very nice. Oh, oh, boom. Very nice. It is. It's, it's charge for this rent, and all of a sudden you're making money. <laughs> Absolutely. It's the four seasons, Mark, okay. of bird bath. Exactly. Why, though? Why? Okay, well, this is actually very, very special to me for two reasons. Uh, I made this because not only does my family celebrate the 4th of July like everybody else, it's also my grandfather's birthday. So we oh. celebrate for his birthday every year. We buy one half of fireworks for America. And then the other half oh, was for my grandpa. Oh. Your grandfather was born in 1776? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. He looks great for He's age. good. Yeah. Oh, wow. he looks good. Yeah. So my grandpa is birthday, so we celebrate. But my grandma, the last time I was here, I let you all know that my grandma was the biggest influence for my crafting. She gave me my first hot glue gun. So my grandmother uh, had canaries in the house. So when I'd be sleeping at her house, I'd be sleeping in on a nice Saturday morning, and you hear those canaries singing at 5 a.m. and waking you up. <laughs> and I hated those I hated those canaries. I did. Oh, I did. I bet you miss them now. I miss them so much. This is inspiration to Grandma because I wish I could go back in time and just cherish those yeah, moments. Sure. So it's an inspiration to, uh, from my grandmother also. Can anyone make this? Could, I, could Kim and I make this is we, what I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> that's a good oh my gosh. <laughs> Debbie and let me just say, Debbie Kim, this is completely doable. Really? Okay. Oh. So okay. doable. Okay. Because it is basically taking something that you might have already in your house gluing it together, stacking it. But the best thing is this can change for whatever season you want right. or whatever your personal decor style is. You don't have to keep it 4th of July themed. Well, I want to see, it. we have photo evidence or video evidence of how busy you were. I was very busy. Yeah. Yes, let's take a look. We're on our way to get some supplies because I have an idea and I don't know if they're going to have everything and I'm also in my third cup of coffee. Change of plans. We're ditching the entire project I was gonna do because I found this. Oh my gosh, inspiration just struck. Four of them and 30% off, uh, yeah. I'm feeling pretty good and I think I've gotten everything and the good part is, I have lots of money left over, because you know me, I'm cheap. What are we making? Debbie, what are you doing here? Holy crap! <laughs> this what is, is on your face? This is kind of like the Super Bowl of crafting, right? So, I got my game face on, Debbie. Your game I on. Get my game you on, Debbie. You were in full uniform. What <laughs> yes. are we making today? Okay, well, Debbie, I had this idea for a project, because I love clay pots. It's called the Bird Bath Bungalow. Now, this could be held this way and have bird seed, or it could be upside down and we're going to put the birdhouse on it. I'm worried that the birds will land here to eat and then poop in the water. Oh. See, that's a dilemma. Do we oh. add the bird seed or not? I don't know what to do. I'm still deciding. I won't know. Well, how my question is, aren't the birds going to poop whether they eat the seed or not? Uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> That's a good point. You have some wow. deep questions. I yeah, yeah, you do. It's true. It's I mean, true. I to think about it for a minute. Did you see that? So what did you ultimately decide on for the plate? You know what, Debbie? I agree with you. Everybody poops. Yeah. So you can't control it. So okay. I put the plate up because I really wanted this to be an all-encompassing spa for the birds. I agree with you. This is where we're going to put the bird seed. Um, and the glass beads are actually there because they're reflective and it attracts the birds. So once you fill this with water, that's what attracts well, them. Well, take us through yes. how to put this together. Okay, right? absolutely. So people might want to do this. Super duper easy, super adorable. Uh, 
you're going to get three clay pots and spray paint them red. Again, you can use any size pot you want. You can make a taller version, a smaller version, because clay pots come in lots of different sizes. Now, I'm using liquid nails on both sides of the pot because I want it extra secure. It. Now, I'm adding glue around both of the rings. Again, I do not want this to fall apart because I was actually moving one and it fell on my clothes and I got liquid nails all over my clothes. Oh boy. Oh no. So now I'm gonna take a white drip plate. This is what's usually under the pot. Well now it's acting as the bird bath. Okay. Now I'm gonna take a blue pot, glue it right on top and add the final drip plate with Debbie's influence. Oh, I'm so glad. Now I'm gonna take some wood stars. Now here's a quick time saving tip. Spray paint them while the paint, spray paint is still wet, glitter them. That oh, acts as the glue. Oh, Our favorite. Then seal them with oh. clear gloss glitter. sealer to protect them. Now this two glue system is my own. We're going to use E6000 and super glue. That hot glue holds it together so you can keep working while the E6000 holds it permanently so it can sit outside. Very smart. Okay, nice. so now we're going to paint the top of the birdhouse blue. And now we're going to use my perfect edge paint technique for the body of the house. You paint it white, then you put tape. Now here's the trick. Paint over the tape with white ah, again to seal white. the edges. Then paint oh, it red. When you peel off gorgeous. the tape, you have the perfect edge, almost like it looks like wallpaper. Look at that. Now we're going to glue the birdhouse to the final drip plate. We're going to add a few more decorative stars, and we're almost done. Okay. Oh, Look at that. Look at that. Almost yeah. done. How easy was that? Seriously. Yeah. We could do that. We could do this. I'm serious. It's easy. Okay, here, Mark, I'm putting you to work. Okay. Oh. You're in oh. charge of filling the bird bath. Okay. Now, I'm worried that this LA weather is actually going to turn this into a hot tub. For the well, birds. LA birds like I'm that. I'm a little Not worried, that. Mark. LA birds, LA birds like that. love that. Yeah. Nothing now, wrong with a hot tub. Now, when I grew up, we couldn't afford pastry bags, so we always used to zip so bags. We have so you fill this <laughs> at the top okay. with the bird seed all around. Great. And okay. the good thing is, is if you spill some bird seed, this is so, so easy what? to clean. Yeah. yeah, you take this out. Debbie's there you go. I'm gonna let you go around there, Debbie. This is beautiful. This is How much gorgeous. did this cost you, Jeremy? Okay, I spent sixty dollars for this project. Gorgeous. However, oh if I was at home in my workshop, I would have spent like twenty because right. a you lot of crafters already, yeah. and gardeners already that have this beautiful. stuff. And one last touch. No. An American oh, flag. Oh, oh, I would like to. And my bird with a bow tie. Oh, it's so I feel I mean, so how could you not? I have to go you to guys, the judges. It's. it's Wow. It's the birds already come. Say any, I'm, yeah, I'm blown away. I just want to say that my favorite part about this is that aside from the fact that you taught us how to make this particular structure, there were all these little useful yes. tips right. mm -hmm. that we can right. take to whatever craft we want to do. The taping and the glue and the with the glue glitter. and the E6000. Yeah. Yeah. It was I just used right. that last week. Yeah. yeah. There's yes. a lot of really valuable information in your project in addition to your project, which right. is yes. just the it's fantastic. Thank you, thank you. That's yeah. part of the reason I'm doing the project is learning from other crafters first of all, yeah. and then using techniques on this project that will carry you to yeah. the next project. Right. It's not all just subject to this project. Yeah. Take wanna, these techniques and use them again. I want to ask right. him this because right. you're so much about delivering it in a yes, fun, spirited loved, way. What did you think of thank that? Thank you. I loved his delivery and I loved how, you know, for me, whenever you guys give me a project to do or segment, I like to really make it my own. And this uh -huh. for me stood out. You adding the little bird and the little yeah. um, bow tie. 